Here we go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Off the Clock with Trey and KJ, man. We got a great show for you today. Man, Trey, tell us what's going on with your fit, man. Like, come on, you got shades, you got the Yukon, bro. You are an Eastern Michigan alumnus, bro. Tell tell what is going on with you, bro. Um, as you may know, or many should know this if they know me, um, you know, I'm a I'm a diehard UConn fan. Um, I wouldn't say diehard because that's kind of pushing the buck. I would say diehard. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> if that's the case, I'm a uh, diehard UConn fan. Uh, been rocking with him since Mario Moore was back playing. So I guess that tells you a lot. But um, Sunday, February 5th at, uh, I believe, noon is going down. UConn versus <laughs> South Carolina. Um UConn is up in the series, but UConn has lost the last three games against South Carolina. So this is a, this is a championship rematch from the um, 2022 national championship game. Um, and you know, I'm rocking with Connecticut, Lee Blue, go Huskies! Yeah. After to after Sunday, I'm pleased to announce that South Carolina will win four of the last four against UConn. But we'll talk about that as we get. Don, I got to give it to Don Staley and the crew. A healthy UConn will be able to compete. I will say that. Just like how on next Sunday, how everybody's hyping up LSU versus South Carolina. Can't South Carolina fans take it around with it? Oh, and I can't wait to watch that game. Yeah, it, it looked. It looked up because. It. <laughs> and you know what? You know what's crazy, bro? I'm going to watch LSU play tomorrow against. Uh, uh, Texas A&M. Oh, nice, nice. Mm-hmm. You got tickets? Yeah. Okay. You know, I try to catch all the ones under the radar, you know, in the teams where they, they, they don't get many fans out on a Sunday afternoon. So while you're at home watching UConn and South Carolina and South Carolina beat up on UConn, I'll be uh, in College Station watching LSU beat up on uh, Texas A&M, bro. It sound good. Yeah. It sounds real good, bro. I'm going to let you have it, though, because I know how you feel about UConn. We don't need another uh, UConn argument because you know how those, those before we both started living right, how those led to. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, man. So we moving, bro. What you got on the agenda today, bro? Talk to us. Uh, man, honestly, you know, just just the Andrew Reese. um Versus Georgia and you know Diamond Battles and one celebration. Um, I got a I got a kick out of that. You know I thought that was uh, pretty cool. You know um, and, you know obviously the uh, UConn versus South Carolina championship rematch. Of course, what we already been talked about. Um, you know just a basic you know plan for the weekend. Um, yeah. And uh, you know Jalen Hurts. Um, My guy. Viral press conference, so yeah, that's pretty much the you know agenda for the day. For sure, man. So let's talk about Angel Reese and Diamond Battles real quick. You, I know you got a kick out of it because you sent it to me. I wasn't gonna say anything about it to nobody because I, I, I'm, you know, I love Angel Reese and I love LSU and I love Coach Mulkey. You know, I wasn't gonna say anything about it, but I was sick when I when she had got the M one and she pulled her celebration. I was sick. I was sick, bro, because I'm like, because first of all, I was watching the game. LSU was already making me mad because they were playing awful. They were playing awful. Georgia was playing really good. LSU was playing really bad, right? And I I was sick, and I was like, you shouldn't be letting these girls compete. And then when she pulled that, the the little, the finger licking, I was sick, bro. I almost turned the TV off. I was like, she a dog, but come on. Come on, like, what, what you think about that, bro? Oh, man, honestly, uh, I had got a kick out of it. Um, only because, you know, these past couple games this year, um, injury, she's, she's been at it with the celebration, right? So, you know, the kicker was Georgia was up, I think, seven after that. Yeah, seven one, right? it. So, yeah, so, you know, the that whole thing was was perfect and then you know like lined up to pretty much the end one with Andrew Reese and Rakia Jackson the previous game yeah. so um, 
when I seen it, I'm like, let's go, you know. Not only because, you know, like she was like my and Angel Reese, but it was like, okay, like she she's showing some, you know, fight and some emotion, you know, like this is yeah. good, you know what I'm saying? Like it's going down to the wire. So yeah, yeah. Um, I thought it was funny, but only if, you know, Georgia would have won, you know, it like not saying that it didn't matter, but like in the moment, of course, Georgia was up, so like it looked good, but since they lost, like the celebration don't really matter. But I believe like Andrew Reese, she went to Twitter and she like made a comment about it. I think she put like W, you know, as in like they won. And then she said something like either she's a trench setter or a copycat. It was something along those lines that led up to, you know, Andrew Reese um coming back and have something to say. However, um you know, when LSU go to uh, South Carolina or South Carolina, go to them. Um, I can't wait to watch to see if, you know, it's going to be some Bro, you didn't have to say that, bro. You no, I'm being serious. serious. <laughs> like, uh, South Carolina got weapons. They can throw Bill Loner. They got Boston. They got Cardoso. They got, like, a me here. So many people going to be thrown at her. So are we going to see these celebrations? Or, you know what I'm saying? Is it just going to be too basketball? No. I will say this, bro. South Carolina has many weapons. Um, and coming off the bench, you know, Boston and Cardozo, those are those those are some monsters in the post. It's like having Lauren Cox and Kalani Brown in the post at the same time. Um, as you could tell, you remember back in 2019, that that season. Yeah. With, with Baylor. And so it was it was a whole they're, they're, here's where South Carolina's gonna win. They're gonna wear LSU out. They're gonna wear her, they're gonna wear them out and they're gonna get them tired. Now I know Coach Moki has the girls in shape because those girls have played heavy minutes. Like if you know any of Moki's teams, Moki's girls, her go-tos are gonna play heavy minutes. You know, you have 40 minutes in a ball game, those go-tos are gonna play at least 35 of those 40 minutes. And so where South Carolina will win, they have the depth, like not saying LSU doesn't, but South Carolina has the depth to be able to wear LSU down. Um I, I would love I, I would love to see uh, Alexis Morris and uh, Zaya Cook go at each other because uh, they both can play defense and they both can facilitate. Now I think Zaya Cook's a better scorer than Alexis Morris, but I would love to see them both on the defensive end of the floor. I want to anticipate that game being a, b- between the forty point fifty range, bro. Like it's gonna be like a maybe a forty five to like fifty three score, bro. I, with the amount of defense that they play and how tough those two teams play, it's gonna be hard to score above 60 points because they play they play such good defense. Um, and I, and everybody's looking at Aaliyah Boston versus Angel Reese. I'm looking at the guards. I'm looking at the guards and I'm make and I wanna see which guards are gonna, you know, have the best, you know, guard play and which, which teams are gonna have the better guard play. Uh, and I think that's what's really going to be the ultimate decider in the game. Who has, who has better, uh, who has better guard play that day? Um, and I know that's un- that's an unpopular take, but just looking at the way those two teams play, you know, that's just this is what I think. And LS and LSU who has a really good chance of getting worn down by South Carolina, but at the same time, you know, if LSU is shooting the ball well, which they normally do, you know. It uh, they'll they'll compete, but if this game was being played in in Baton Rouge, it'll be a lot different story. You know, I wouldn't be saying the LSU will, will lose the game. Right? If 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 South Carolina was on the road, I feel like it'll be a tougher game for them to win. And so, great point there. But hey, but about the celebration though, I got to take it back to Monday night when she initially did it. That was tough. I mean, everybody's saying that should have been a technical foul, and as it should have, it should have. You know, unfortunately, you know, that's just the way the the game works. And everybody else, it's not a technical foul. They're having fun. She did a little bit much. <laughs> she did a little bit much. A bit much. You know, I can see the t- I can see the the finger licking. You know, I don't know if you saw what she said to the camera that was sitting that was kind of like by the goal. You know, if you I can read. What she said. If you could read lips, it looked like, and that's what it just looked like to me. Uh when Rikid had shot the block it and she had scooped it up and they had caught the foul and it went in. She had looked at the camera, uh, did the finger lick and said, block this MF. That's what it looked like to me though. But 
Uh, but she didn't have to act the TikTok dance. She didn't. I, I'm sorry. I mean, she a dog. I love it. I love it. I love Angel Reese, but I I would have I would have called a timeout right there as a coach and been like, hey, chill out. Don't do that. <laughs> chill out. <laughs> but then the Georgia girl uh Diamond Battles with her doing it. I was sick. I was like, ooh, you know, uh that TikTok sound is cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Yeah. Well, it was cool when Angel do it, but it's a problem when anybody else try to do it. I hated that, bro. I was like, oh, no, she didn't. But I'm glad to see the amount of emotion is being emphasized in the in the game of women's basketball. And if we're talking about game changers, who who has you know normalized that is this year's uh, LSU team. With Coach Mulkey, with Angel Reese, with Flaw J. Johnson, and uh, the Alexis Morrison crew. You know, if you're looking at who normalized that that emotion part of the game, you have to include LSU in that conversation as a game changer into making that, you know, a, a normality. Like, do you feel me? Yep. And so, but yeah, man, I was sick. But, hey, she deserved it. But LSU immensely won in overtime. And they made it happen. They they made me mad that day. I ain't gonna lie, but they I feel like they'll play a lot better. And it's so funny. Um, and then we can move on because I didn't ramble about this. Uh, at the end of the Tennessee game on Monday, uh, Kim Mulkey in the locker room has said, "What's a good win like this if we don't take care of business on Thursday?" And Thursday she was referencing the Georgia game, and LSU almost let that one slip away. Uh, they rode that hype from the Tennessee game, in my opinion. You know, I like what Don Staley said, the 24-hour rule. You know, 24 hours after a win or a loss, we move on. We got to focus on the next opponent because they're coming in with a different type of energy. They see the type of win that they got against Tennessee, right? And so <laughs> that's how I feel about it, bro. You you already know. That's, that's my crew. I, I swear they my friends so bad. <laughs> But yeah, man, go ahead, bro. Them your friends, for real? I would love them to be. I would love them to be, bro. And I'm not saying that, but they just seem like they just some dope people to be around. Like they always on my TikTok for you page, always, the whole team. Then the LSU basketball team got the TikTok. You probably follow it, don't you? I do. <laughs> What got me is Coach Mogi, she was doing the, one of the TikTok dances. And I, was, I forgot which one it was. It wasn't the one where they do all this with the, it wasn't that one, but it was a, it was another one that went viral earlier in November. And I friend, she was like, okay, this earned, this earned them a follow. So they followed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that is funny. That is funny. But yeah, man, Jalen Hurts, man. I, I did not get the chance to watch any type of football last last weekend, and I did not get the chance to see his press conference. But you had mentioned it and you had put it on here, and so you know what 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 do you feel about that, man? What did he say? Like what like what did all of that entail? Um, so honestly, like the I didn't watch the game. I don't know like what happened or whatever. But you know, he was talking about you know um, whenever you know he was in college and he. Uh, he struggled, you know, he was going through things like one one scripture that, you know, just stuck with him through that time was um, John 13, uh, 7. And um, mm -hmm. it just says, you don't understand now what I am doing, but someday you will. And um, mm -hmm. if you go back and read John 13, that's pretty much, you know, um, it's about, you know, Jesus washing his um disciples feet and you know like they had like many questions or you know why he was doing this and things like that so um when uh the video was actually sent to me um from a friend and um i was just like dang like you can be you know like in a moment and still keep it going on and like you don't understand what's going on like in this moment but someday you will and that just references back to you know my time at omaha you know like everything yeah. that happened like you know um i wasn't really understanding but you know as time went on i finally understood what was going on and it took me you know like a few months to understand but every but all that commotion over there led me to here where i'm making better money i'm around people 
um, you know, that love their jobs, you know what I'm saying? So um, in that moment, I was, I wasn't understanding like what was going on, but that whole ordeal prepared me to the position that I'm in now where um, I love my job. I'm around people that love being here, you know, um, just being passionate, you know, like about what I'm doing. So um, that's just something that, you know, hearing that, I'm just like, dang, like that just goes back to my time where, you know, I didn't understand what was clearly going on. But in the moment, like, I thought I did, but I really didn't. Right. I'm grateful for it because it's led me here to where I'm at now. So, so grateful and just overflowing with gratitude because, I mean, if that incident didn't happen, then I'll probably still be stuck out there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I understand, bro. See, and, and when I look at that scripture, you know, the phrase like, oh, it all makes sense now. That is the first phrase that comes to mind because you know, when we're thrown into something that, you know, is unfamiliar, you know, we get in some unfamiliar territory uh, and and we're in, you know, some situations, some questionable situations, you know, we oftentimes, you know, we, we, we base our perception of it on how we feel and what we see, right? You know, we don't always think about, you know, the bigger picture or, you know god's plan or his purpose uh so to speak right you know and that's why it's always important we we never question god too you know um i caught myself was it in december uh like early december i was like god why am i here like why or like why why is this going on but then had to catch myself and was like you know i don't know what's on the other side of this you know and so that scripture uh, you you may not understand now but uh in the future you you know you in that scripture bro you'll see you know it 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 just speaks to our it should speak to our ability to not just judge the situation based on what we see but judge it on the external hope that god knows exactly what he's doing and so uh Man, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of moments, and especially with us being young, you know, I'm 23, and you know, uh, year 25, 25, bro. What's yeah, up? You 25, bro. You know, we oftentimes in our 20s, we 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 get so much of a rush to settle and and try to get our life figured out now. When all when in when in reality, we're gonna look back 20 20 years from now and be like, oh wow like i was a mess so we don't understand it now but god's gonna take care of it in the future and then we're gonna look back and be like oh shoot it makes sense why i went through this why i was in this place why i was you know why i was here you know you know i had to learn that you know through some some heavy circumstances you know and, and it humbled me to the point where i had to understand that I'm not here for me. I'm here for God working through me. Does that make sense? And so, you know, with, with Jalen Hurt saying that, bro, like, and I didn't know, I didn't even know it was, uh, he had said it in his press conference because I didn't listen. But you said it, you know, and looking back on his experiences, especially through college and now as a professional athlete who's going to the Super Bowl, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. And he based his hope on that. And now look where he is. That's that's awesome, bro. I'm glad you caught that because I, I, I don't know where I was when, when it when it went viral. I, I I totally missed it, bro. And I and I hate that I missed it. And I think I saw it, but I just scrolled past it, not thinking I just thought it was regular press conference stuff, so I wasn't gonna watch it. And so that's awesome, bro. And this was after last Sunday's game. Uh, had to have been. I had to. Yeah, man, just life changing, you know, like experience for him. Um, man, this this huge. Yeah, yeah so uh, I know what last weekend, mm -hmm. you know, uh, somebody had a birthday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you turn how old? What? Twenty two. Man, I, uh, I I turned twenty three, bro. 23, my, 23, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Sheesh, I've been knowing you that long. 
My goodness, you getting old, man. <laughs> man you, you said like you said like uh, I'm 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 old, bro. Getting up there. <laughs> oh, like gonna be twenty five. It's thirty. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. I say this, bro. I turned twenty three, and it was exactly what I wanted to do, bro. I, I went shopping, and I went to the and I went to the house, and I popped up my recliner and watched basketball. That's exactly what I did, bro. It was it, it was a great weekend. I didn't have to worry about being nowhere or doing nothing. It was like, she, you, hey, bro, hey, you work, you work in education, and, and you you work with teenagers all day. You going to the house and 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 uh and sitting in the recliner and watching TV is a vacation within itself. So I spent my, my I spent to just doing nothing, bro. So yeah, bro, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the love you you and uh my people showed me last weekend, though, man. That was that was big time. Yeah, man. 23, man. Mm-hmm. Year. I remember back when I turned 23. Bro, 23. don't say it like it was so long ago, bro. <laughs> what did I do on my 23, like on my 23rd birthday? Do you remember? What did you do? Because you turned 23 when in 2021? Had to have been, right? Yep. Um, dang. You had just, you had just moved to Omaha or was about to move to Omaha. No, uh, Omaha was... Oh, okay. Was it was okay? You know what? You might be. You right. I um, I left in August, but that year for my birthday, I was supposed to have uh, I had rented this um, this uh, I was supposed to go to this park. I had rented this pavilion. Um, it was a barbecue. I was supposed to have that, and my dad yeah. was going to drive down from Flint barbecue. We go play some basketball, volleyball. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Music, right. It was gonna be a great turnout, but it was supposed to have uh, rained mm-hmm. that day. So like the day before, I just like canceled it. Um, mm-hmm. Come to find out, it didn't even rain that day like it was supposed to. The so I ended up summer going, birthday. Uh, yeah, so I ended up going bowling and uh, yeah, I did a escape room and I went to um, this place called Bar Louie. They got good chicken, good, good food. You know what I'm saying? It's in Royal Oak. Um, so that's what I did. And then my 24th birthday, I went oh. bowling. You know, like with my friends out of Omaha. Um, and then, no, I turned 25 this summer. So yeah, I, went, I got to say, I went bowling for my 25th, my 24th. No, you turned 23. 2021. I had 21. Right, so what did I do for my 24? No, because if you're 25 now, you turn 25 or 2022, you had to turn 24 or 21. So you turn 20, 20, 20, you turn 23 in the pandemic in 2020. You definitely did. You did okay. because it was the year you graduated. It was the same semester you graduated, bro. You might be right. Okay, so much. We had that Instagram live graduation for you. Okay, you're right. You're right. So uh, 24th was the barbecue barbecue that didn't happen in bowling escape room barbecue. yeah the 25th was bowling in omaha yeah so dang yeah. that's that's crazy that i don't i don't even remember you know what i did the pandemic was a blur but yeah because it was right after you had graduated because y'all graduated in in april 2020 okay. yeah. yeah and then so you turned 23 in june yeah you're right okay you're yeah. right yeah. Dang. you know it's better than i do Hey man, we had Instagram live graduation. That the times were simpler back then. We didn't have bills to pay. None of that. Who didn't have bills to pay? Dude, bro. I stayed in an apartment, so like I had bills. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they, I didn't have bills. They didn't you cut off. Bills, so I didn't. Have bills. Yeah. <laughs> I still had one more year of college left, bro. So I was in a dorm. <laughs> oh. Okay, you were. Dang. And then that was, we didn't know we were going to have a season the next year because of COVID. We was all, and we was having all them Zoom calls with the coaches and everything, bro. That's, yep, that was it. That was it, bro. Mask, kind of wear masks on buses, the bench, hotels. It's just a whole bunch of crap just to play the game that we love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's crazy. 
That's crazy, bro. What you got? What you, what you got up this weekend, fam? Honestly, um, let's see. What's today? Saturday. Dang. Uh, oh, it went by. Yeah, man. Friday. Um, what did I do yesterday? Um, I don't think I did nothing for real. Just uh, came to the office. Um, got some homework done. I still got some work that I need to work on. Um, mm-hmm. Just went to the crib. Uh, Watch some basketball. And then today, um, had Bible study this morning. Um, that's about it, man. Just even money. Bible study. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm going to um, Michigan, Michigan State women's game. Yeah. Easy money. A oh, rivalry week. Yep, going there like in Lansing, women's hoops. And then after that, uh, one of my guys from. Bible study. My guy is Zeke. Um, he's proposing to his girlfriend on Sunday um, out in Detroit. So um, all the groomsmen are going to be there and um, you know, friends and family. So um, that's exciting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm up. This is like my second wedding that I ever been in, uh, besides the first one in March of last year. So um, yeah, you know, it's a exciting day tomorrow for uh, Zeke and Maya. You know, shout out to them. Um, Shout out to hey, wish my wish your boy Zeke hey, good luck on his on his proposal, on his marriage, whenever the wedding is, man. Just oh, it's in September. Oh man, give him give him my love, man. Even though I don't know him, man. Give him my love. That's, that's what's up, bro. We love it. We love a good weekend, bro. I ain't I ain't been doing nothing, bro. Uh, we had work. We went to work yesterday. My little brother's ball game was today. Basketball, baseball. Basketball. Oh, he a hooper? Yeah, he, he play everything, bro. He a football player, a basketball player. He a try. He don't like basketball, but his favorite is, is baseball. But but little dude can hoop. Like I'm talking about, like he's small as what's up, but he can hoop. And he play on the sixth grade division, and he in fifth grade, and so he he, he been making it happen, bro. And I was trying to coach him up a little bit. My parents is over there, you know, acting a fool and doing what parents do at youth sporting events. So I went to go stand on the wall at the end of the gym uh, with with one of my other good friends that I know. You know, try to coach him up and get him rolling, bro. But you know the vibes, man. I, I try to I try to pop out to see him every once in a while. I try to make at least a, a few of them uh, because I'm always on the go. Uh, Is he man? Uh, normally, I don't get to see a lot of bas- if it's basketball games, so you know, uh, glad I got to go. Uh, baseball, I'm gonna catch a few because they started baseball season. He plays select ball, travel ball, and then foot track. He runs summer track. I'm not gonna sit at no track meet. I love him to death, but I can see him run at the house. But um, uh, in football, I see him. I- I'll catch a few games of him playing football. But you know, he all around athlete. That's my boy, and so. We he he's eleven and I'm twenty three. So as you can imagine, our conversations growing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I did that. Now I'm sitting in the house. Like I said, I'm going to college station tomorrow. I'll watch those girls from LSU hoop. Um, and Go then church I got, tomorrow. I won't be able to because I'll be on the road. Got going to college station. But good thing God created media and Apple CarPlay so that I can hear and see on the way to college station you know i don't ever miss a sunday even if i'm not in the building yep then um i told you i'm coming out of retirement from aau ball so i gotta go sit down with uh our aau director and and get some stuff set it up for uh for the uh upcoming season and, and get these girls right so that we can I said my girls my girls they're gonna play in the under armor circuit this year so that'll be interesting they're playing in the Under Armour League in the circuit. We're gonna be moving around a little bit um, and see what they got. See what they got for us, bro. So, got a few things to do on a Sunday and try to make it happen. I'm probably gonna sit here and make this case on so call it a day. Finish watching this Texas and Kansas State game. Women's basketball. Men's. Okay. Coach Tang and them, and Coach Chappelle over there at Texas, my boy. Man, talk to. Buddy, and so long. I can't even tell you someone talked to him. Uh, I talked to him. last Zoom call. What's up? Time. Since the last Zoom call? Yes, bro. I think hey. I texted him when he got the job. And I think the you wouldn't know V job. Yeah. He got this old number, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So, I'll, shoot you, I'll shoot you his new number, bro. So no, 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 no. 
next time like you talk to him tell him tell him that trey said what's up man you know for sure. i try to talk to him here regular man he's big time yeah man, to be honest bro, to be honest bro um my last year at lamar you know after that whole pandemic and everything he asked about you a couple times throughout the season he was like where's trey at? and at the time you were still at you know emu and so long time I was, ago yeah and so i was just like okay. uh so he said um tell him i said what's up next time i said man i talk to the dude every day so I tell <laughs> but uh but yeah I'm, I'm i'm gonna talk to him sometime this week you know they've been playing good so i've been kind of shooting them so hey keep it going man y'all are killing it type messages you know having i know how it is being at a power five school and so i'm gonna wait till after the season to pull up on them though yeah that's in this gym i'm sure he'll love that oh yeah for sure but yeah man shout out to my man coach Chappelle, better known as bezo Chappelle, brandon Chappelle. that's my guy uh want to shout out anybody else from lamar or just anybody in general Anybody who don't want to shout out this week, Avery's going to kill me if I don't. What's up, Avery? I know you listening wherever you are, bro. What about you, bro? You got anybody you want to shout out? Oh, man. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, it's a tough one. Um, <laughs> dang, you got me thinking. Uh, you know, just you know, shout out to all the athletes out there, you know, that's killing it. Okay. Playing a sport, you know, they're trying to be the best version of themselves. Um, keep grinding. I know it's hard, but keep grinding. Yo, shout out to, um, shout out to my sis K Mac over at Michigan yeah. State. You know what I'm saying? Last go around, so shout out to her. Yeah. Keep killing it, you know what I'm saying? I got one, bro. So our boys coach, so you know, I'm the girls coach, our boys coach, he listens. You know, I posted on my story. He, you know, he'll listen. That's my boy Black. Shout out Coach Black, better known as Capo. My boy, I love him. Hey, I love him to death. That's hey, that's family. That's family. Hey, one of the realest dudes you'll ever meet, bro. He, 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 and he know he the guru. He might as well be our athletic director, man. I let <laughs> anything Black say, it's came, it's came true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's exciting. Um, shout out to um our guy Billy. He had his first kid. Billy had his first kid. Yeah, crazy, man. right? Taking it back to 2019 at the TKB. <laughs> oh man, we get old. Bi- we get old. Billy bro. getting old. Billy married and got a kid now. Crazy. Man, we get old, man. We get old, man. Who next? Who? I don't know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Hey. My boy Tyus was mic'd up, mic'd up the other day on the Oklahoma page. I seen that. Yeah, he was mic'd up. You know, he doing he doing some good stuff as their program coordinator. Yeah. He seems to be loving it over there. I um I haven't talked to him in a while, but I mean just from that video it seemed like he, he and loved it. So. my Isaiah Flowers. Zay, yes. I, uh, he texted me last week. We was talking about hoops and basketball. He was sending me clips of their game. So you mean to tell me that's a foul or that's not a foul? I'm like, hey, bro. From my opinion, it don't look like it, but the ref called it, man. <laughs> they, hey, they, they doing really good. They, they are really. He's doing really good, but his team is doing. My boy was out there surfing. He was telling me he was surfing one day. I'm like, man, you from Oklahoma? You're not supposed to surf, man. You even got West Coast, and you know, hey, you acting different. <laughs> yeah. I actually talked to him today. Um, yeah. I talked to him like yesterday. So we talk often. Um, yeah. But he, he been asking, you know, when uh, he could better come on, man, and, and you know, man. knowledge. So tell Isaiah, man, he come on. Matter of fact, we'll, 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 we got, we'll keep it in the works, man, because I, I tell you, I would love to have Isaiah on here, man. Yeah. People love to hear uh, his story, you know. He's oh, a, man. He's a very interesting person to know. I would say, shit. Let's, let's, um, let me let's make it happen. <laughs> let's make it happen. It's time to go, bro. I didn't got too comfortable, and too casual, bro. Hey, man, we not on the phone, bro. Like we not on Facetime, my boy. So you it, know, gotta... it it felt like we was on the phone, bro. We we we, we was having too good of a conversation, man. Yeah. But yeah, man. I we appreciate y'all for coming in and and kicking it with us. Uh, 
I know today we, we talked about a little uh, we didn't talk about as much as we usually do but it's still quality content you know uh, got to banner a little bit at the end and so um, Trey you got anything for the people before we uh, dip out man I actually don't um, we'll see y'all next week for sure appreciate y'all for tuning in sir sure.